Hello, welcome back to Renewing Your Mind. I'm Pastor Kevin with your devotional for this week, and we're looking at Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6 to 8. That again is Proverbs 2, verse 6 to 8. And it says this, For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity. Guarding the paths of justice and watching over the way of his saints. There's some wonderful things in this passage and we're going to kind of just walk through each verse here today and, and look at some of the wisdom that God has here for us. First again, verse 6, for the Lord gives wisdom. Where does wisdom come from? Well, it comes from God because he's the one who gives it. Um, there, there is such a thing as a spiritual gift for Christians of, of wisdom. And it doesn't mean that all Christians can't have wisdom. They all can. But we need to recognize that that wisdom comes from God. Um, second half of verse 6, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Again, that's where wisdom comes from. Understanding comes from God. Verse 7, he stores up sound wisdom for the upright. Hmm. There's a key there, the upright. Those who are living in righteousness and holiness, who, who want to please God in that way, to live their life in such a way that brings honor and glory to God. It is those that God gives wisdom to. And so if you're living a life of sin, you're not going to have true wisdom. In fact, there's a lot of people who live in sin who get to a point sometimes in life where they're like going, oh, it's okay to live this way. God created me this way or God allows me to act in this way. No, when God defines sin, whatever that sin might be, he's calling us to live in holiness and righteousness. God makes a standard. And so it is to those who are living upright that God gives wisdom to. So do you want to have true knowledge to true wisdom? Then seek to live in holiness in the way God calls us to. So listen to him in his word. What he says is sin. And if you're doing it, confess it, repent of it, and allow God to work in you to overcome those temptations too. Uh, second half of verse 7. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity. Oh man, that's the key there too. Integrity. Um, doing what is right, being a man or a woman of your word, those are part of it. And God is a shield to those who want to live and act in integrity. Verse 8, guarding the paths of justice and watching over the way of his saints. His saints, who are God's saints? What's well, those who have come to faith in Jesus Christ? That is, they've confessed their sins, placed their faith in Jesus, and surrendered their lives to him. That is who a saint is. It's not because some organization says that so-and-so is a saint because um, they've done certain things. No, God is the one who declares. Because saint, what saint means is a holy one. And it is God who makes people holy. And that happens, first, first of all, at the moment of salvation. And then God continues to do that process of making us holy the rest of our life too. Because there are going to be times where we get tempted and we might sin. And, and part of that process of God making us holy is that when we have sinned, we come to him again and say, Lord, forgive me. It's not that we're asking for salvation again, not at all. Once we accept Christ as Lord and Savior, we're saved. But there are times when we still sin. And it doesn't mean that you lose your salvation then. What it does mean is that we need to come to him, though, and mend our relationship with him by confessing that sin to him. Just like in any relationship, when we have harmed someone who, who we care for, uh, Sometimes we need to go that, we, well, not sometimes, anytime we harm them in whatever way, mentally, emotionally, physically, we need to go back to them and say, you know, I'm sorry for doing this. Will you please forgive me? And, and that's the exact same thing with God too. When we've sinned against him, we go to him and say, Lord, forgive me. And, and that's what a saint does. We're not perfect. We will make mistakes sometimes. We sometimes may sin. But part of being a holy one is coming to God and allowing him to continue to do that work of making us holy as we come to him when we have sinned. Um, and because of that, he watches over us. So there's wisdom for us too, to trust God. Um, sometimes it's hard. And sometimes we forget that God is at work around us. 
So he watches over the way of the saints. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for these words you've given to us. That reminds us again that wisdom comes from you and that you can give it to us. But Lord, may we be people too then who walk in integrity, who come to you in humbleness when we make mistakes and sin and come to you and make that right with you. Lord, thank you for the work that you're doing in our lives. Continue to make us holy. These things we pray in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for this devotional today too. My prayer again is that you are blessed by this and challenged and grow in your faith in Jesus Christ. If you haven't done so already and you're watching this from YouTube, I invite you to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're made aware when each video on our, on our channel is uploaded or when our live stream happens for our service. Also, if you are watching on Facebook instead, uh, please put a like for this video and also uh, like our Facebook page as well. We, we try to put lots of things on there to have interaction with people who are part of our church and who are interested in our church. And so we invite you to do that as well. If you want to talk with me further on the subject of today, you're welcome to make a comment below as well, and I'll interact with you there. Or if you're like, I'm more of a private person, I don't want what my question is online at all, then feel free to contact me from the contact information down below in the description. Until next time, may you know the peace and love of our Lord Jesus. God bless.